Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a video that's long overdue, sorry for the delay. And the reason why there was such a big delay between this video and coming out is because I wanted to tell you what's happening next and there will be weekly Euro 2020 predictions on my channel. Um, but I decided to take a couple of weeks off, refresh the batteries, get ready and let's go through this table. Anyway. So what, one thing you came here for, so guys, let's get straight on the way so you know what to do. Give us a big rock if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the bottom three, I went for Leeds, Aston Villa and West Ham. Now, I've got to apologise to Leeds fans. A lot of, I wouldn't say a lot of stick came my way, but, you know, I did take a bit of stick, which obviously I get anyway, Who no matter who I put down there. Um... And they had a brilliant first season in the back of the Premier League. Uh, they did finish ninth, 11 places where I predicted them to finish. Um, as I said, great season for Leeds. Will they be able to do it next season? We're going to have to wait and see. And also there will be a Premier League uh, table prediction ahead of next season. And congratulations to Brentford, uh, Watford and who else got from here? Oh yeah, Norwich. Welcome back to the Premier League. Um, 19th, I went with Aston Villa. Aston Villa had an okay season, um, on my perspective. Finished 11th, 8 places where I predicted them to finish. Um, and yeah, fair play to Aston Villa. Um, I've got nothing to say more about them, but had a great season. Uh, and obviously we are only in here for, you know, that goal that counted, uh, didn't count against Sheffield United the previous season before. Next, I went with West Ham. West Ham had a brilliant season, finishing as sixth. Uh, 12 places well predicted them to finish. Uh, there's going to be a lot of questions about West Ham going into next season, about the man the mentality. And as I said, I will be doing another one of these cold closer towards the next season. But yeah, great season for West Ham. And um, we go on now to 17th to 11th. So with 17th, I went with relegation for them. For them, for me, were one of these teams, a bit like my own club, um, just could put the ball in the net enough, um, and fair enough to Fulham for giving them another shot. I'm expected to see Fulham back in the Premier League for the 2021-22 season. Um, but yeah, fair play to Fulham. Could put the ball in the net a bit more. I wouldn't be getting relegated. I did watch them quite a few times that season. I apologise for my mishmash numbers. I will tell you what teams are for anyway. Um, in ninth, in our sixteenth, we went West Brom, who did finish nineteenth. West Brom's get rid of Billage halfway through the season. Bring you Sam and the Dice if you tried to save them, and basically didn't work. So West Brom did actually go down quite easily um, after I sat Billage up. I believe that was a long time. I believe Sam Allardyce maybe needed a bit more time with West Brom to actually play to play it off. Um, in fifteenth, I went with Crystal Palace, who did finish fourteenth. Um, Crystal Palace for me had an okay season. Um, Roy Hutchinson obviously has played had his last manager game at Palace. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see where he finishes up and um, whether he goes in for another job or not. And uh, you know, as I said, Palace had an okay season. Watched them once or twice, if I remember, during the season. And, uh, yeah, so that weren't too bad for Palace, if I'm being honest. In 14th, I went with Newcastle. Newcastle, for me, are lucky to stay in the Premier League. Okay, they finished 12th, but they still had that mistroubled scoring. But they stayed up anyway, so... Nothing to worry about there. Next season's going to be an interesting for you, Castle fan. And it's going to be interesting to see how we did them for next season. 13th, I went with my own club. I went with Brighton, who did finish it. See, to me, Brighton season dropped 25 points from winning position. I think we finished on, uh, what was it? I think it's 41. I think Brighton finished on. Take away 25 points, you're talking 60 odd points, probably I'm going to finish up with if they kept their winning positions and won them games. A uh, bit of a disappointing uh, performance for me for Brighton during the season. She could put the ball in the net enough, but same with most of these clubs, so 
but yeah, just a bit frustrated if we could put the ball in the net and hold on to our winning positions. Um, but yeah, uh, three minus three positions are predicted to finish. Actually, finishes sixteenth. So that wasn't you know really good um, for my predictions anyway. Uh, and then twelfth for it Southampton who did finish fifteenth. Uh, Yet again, another disappointing season for uh, Southampton. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting uh, prediction table for next season. I can see it already. Um, but as I say, I've got the Euros coming up first, so I'm gonna focus on that, and I'm gonna sit down and work on the uh, table when it comes closer to the time. Um, an eleven for him with Burnley. Burnley yet again were very lucky to stay up. Uh, I do think they could have maybe done a bit more. Um, but I did what I needed to do to stay up. Uh, it's going to be an interesting season for Burnley as well next season. Definitely need to strengthen. And they finish minus six places where I predicted them to finish. At 20 if I went Sheffield United. Um, no, sorry, 10th if I went Sheffield United finishing 20 if minus 10 um, places from where I predicted them to finish. It's going to be a really interesting um Season for Sheffield United, obviously losing Chris Wilder, losing a few more players as well. Uh, it's going to be really, really interesting um, for Sheffield United in the Championship next season. Uh, but yeah, we lose them, and I thought really they would stay up um, and finish highly. That's why I put them in 10th. Um, at 9th, I went with Arsenal. Um, I believe they fin. I think I might have mistyped there. I think they fin. Yeah, they finished in eighth, not ninth. Sorry, sorry for that missed uh, type error there. Uh, finishing in eighth, could have probably done a bit more. Um, you know, about a year of it for the first time. God knows how long. Um, it's gonna be a really interesting season for us. So obviously, when they stand Quonky out as well, especially after that Super League, uh, try to break away. That's going to be interesting where the Premier League clubs are going to be in August. Are the fans going to have their say? The 14th of June, that heads into Parliament. That's the day you all want to watch Sky Sports News to see what goes on. Um, but I'm sure I'll do a video on that maybe after. Or I might mention it in my Euro predictions. Um, in 8th, I went with Everton who finished in 10th. Carlo Ancelotti has left Everton gone back to Real Madrid. Can't see Everton finishing high um, unless they strengthen uh, for next season. But as I said, that's all to come. Um, but yeah, very disappointing for Carlo Schalotti to leave such a big project up at Everton. But, you know, it's going to be um, already testing time for Everton as well. And it's going to be really interesting to see what goes on there. Seven for went for Leicester, who did finish in fifth and who did win the FA Cup. Congratulations to Leicester for winning the FA Cup. Just missed out on the top four by a couple of wins again. Um, they're going to have to settle back for your Europa League. But I did think because they won the FA Cup, you may be able to help me out on this. Um, that I do get a Champions League spot. I'm not sure what might happen to Leicester yet. But uh, yeah, so they did finish in fifth. Um, heartbreak for Leicester again. In sixth, I went in Wolverhampton, who did finish in 13th. Um, the managers left. Now he's been linked to other jobs in the Premier League already. Um, disappointing season for Wolverhampton. Could have maybe done a bit more, um, if I'm being honest. They were a real disappointment from where I thought, you know. Um, well, I think I've got to finish. In fifth, I went with Spurs, who did finish in seventh, minus two, point, uh, minus two places for where I predicted them to finish. They tried to change it too quickly. Um, in my opinion, uh, sat Jason Mourinho, and I'll speak to you about more about that in a minute because that is a bit of an interesting story I heard. And um, put Ryan Mason in charge, and you know he did try his best, but you know he's, he ain't that real manager experience yet. Apparently, the only reason why Jason Mourinho got sacked is because he was furious over this so-called Super League breakaway, um, and that's apparently why he got sacked. That's what I heard anyway. I'm not sure if that's true or not. So now we go to the top four. That's 10 to 5, sorry. I know I'll just put that up there anyway. Um, now we go to the top four. Four, four went with Chelsea. 
Um, Frank Lampard's been sacked. Was that the right choice? Certainly Chelsea fans could really say that. Um, but they still chant his name at Chelsea games, which is a good thing to hear, um, if I'm being honest. And third, I went with Liverpool. Liverpool did have a disappointing season, yes, but it still managed to qualify for the Champions League, so that's mainly what they wanted. Um, surely got to refocus back on the the um, top fight for their uh, you know, first place. In second, I went with Man United, got that one right as well. I think it's the first time ever I got top four right. But on the disappointing end, I've got the bottom three wrong. Um, but yeah, so, and then obviously first place, I'll just load up now. Sorry, that was fourth to second. Um, Manchester City won the title, fair play to them. Lost in the Champions League final to Chelsea. And that's where I can't, I'm not sure whether Chelsea get an automatic um, Champions League place. Because I remember Liverpool doing it one season. Finishing outside the Champions League places, but there's a big um, uproar about that, and they stuck in the Champions League. Um, but yeah, so this is my Premier League table reveal. My first year 2020 predictions will be up on Monday, so guys, anyway, till then, you know what to do. Good to have a big fun, fun, like you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.